teased. What is good everybody? Welcome back to another My Damn Toys video. Today we're going to be going through my favorite, my personal favorite, WWE Figure Championship Belts. As you can see, I do have my full collection right here. Psych, this is not my full collection. Uh, we did a video where we added some to my shelves. So uh, some of them are on display. But uh, what I'm going to do is pick out a select few, maybe 10 or so. Could be a little bit less than 10. But uh, I'm going to go ahead and gather them up, and then we're going to go through them. They're not in any particular order. You know, it's not going to be a top 10 or anything. It's just going to be me showing you my favorite championships, why they're my favorites, yada, yada, yada. So let's go ahead and get started. All right, guys, so starting off, this is sort of a cheat right here, but one of my favorite, absolute favorite championships in my entire collection has to be the MDT Championship. I mean, my God, can we just look at this? This was made by Showstopper Custom Figs, but uh, we're going to undo the strap right here so you guys can see the full thing here. We have the zebra print on the strap. I absolutely love that detail to it. You know, really gives it that MDT feel. You got the MDT in the middle instead of the WWE logo. Bright yellow and pink, you know, part of the colors of the channel. We got the world logo over here. We got the MDT live logo over there. And just all the bright colors on this championship stand out so much. Easily one of my favorite championships. You know, the current champion, John Cena, holds it with high pride. So uh, one of my favorite belts in my collection, hands down. Another championship on MDT Live is the MDT World Tag Team Championships. This is one half right here. It will be on the line at sold out, but right here you have the world logos on there. You got the MDT Live logos. The pink strap, I think, is my favorite part. I just think it stands out so nice. You got the uh, silver and gold dual-plated colorway on the main plates. You got the MDT in the world there, and I just think this is such a beautiful belt. One of my hands-down favorite championships. Black on the back right there, but uh, that pink strap just really pops off especially with that world logo and the MDT easily one of my favorite championships and then we go over to vindication side and we have the MDT elite championship the champion Kenny Omega right now got the MDT side logos on there for the side plates. We got the yellow and blue going in there for Vindication Elite real big on there so everybody knows who the champ is. It is a WWE Championship base as you can tell. It's got that same plate design but uh, I think it looks better than the WWE Universal Women's and other women's and UK and Women's UK and every single championship in WWE with this same shape. And then we have the Last championship that's my favorite from the pick fed, we have the Iron Man championship. Even with the Iron Man logo front and center right there with his head, and then you have Iron Man on there real nice. Vindication logos, MDT at the top. We use the Smoke and Skull Championship as the base. As you can see, the smoke and gold sort of coming off the Iron Man head. I love that to death. The champion, Drew McIntyre, set to defend it. It sold out. So this is easily one of my favorite championships. I, I, uh, Iron Man is my second favorite Marvel character to the Punisher. So this one holds a special place. Getting into championships that are not custom made, guys. We have the Mattel version of the Intercontinental Championship Oval Belt. And this, this championship was the Intercontinental Championship for me growing up as a kid. And this is one of my all-time favorite belts. I want a replica of this belt. And uh, it's just so nice. I love it so much. When I think of this championship, I instantly think of Chris Jericho, Benoit, Kurt Angle, and just them walking, mainly Chris Jericho, but this, this title belt is so beautiful and unique. I feel like uh, Mattel may have made it a bit oversized, but I still love it. It's easily, they, they literally nailed the likeness to the championship, and I'm very happy to have this one. Easily one of my favorite belt designs of all time, not just in figure form. Next up, we have the big gold world heavyweight championship, and this one, I don't know, I wish the plate was a bit thinner, just because this championship was very thin. You know, it's got the red jewels going around those ruby jewels going around and it captures all the details in there again one of my favorite championships i actually do own this in adult size replica autographed by edge at that the first ever mdt champion but uh, this is a beautiful belt i love this one to death to go along with the oval intercontinental championship next up we do have the united states championship and this one's very basic guys but this one there's a reason this championship hasn't changed its design since it came in on smackdown guys i mean my god it's just such an iconic championship all they did was update the logo just because it's so beautiful i think mattel did a great job capturing the colorway in here with the stripes and the stars and blue everything going through you instantly think of america 
when you look at this championship. I mean, what what the, what is there to say? The colors brought, uh, pop off really nice, and again, it looks so good on pretty much every figure that you put it with. Next up, we have both versions of the Tag Team Championships from the Ruthless Aggression era. Guys, we have the SmackDown version and the Raw version. These are the Ringside Exclusive Belt Collectors Pack Edition. I just love these so much more than the regular release in the Elite line just because they're so bright. I love that gold color and the blue and red really contrast well. I think people say they have like a trouble keeping their decals on these things like the Tag Team Championship part and the red and stuff will rub off if you know, clack them together and stuff. But who's clacking their belts together? I mean, come on. Uh, just take care of your championship I haven't had any problems with them, but uh, these are absolutely beautiful. They look so great on figures, especially if you're doing DX or Jera Show or whatever. You have both of them on the same champion. I mean, you put them like this, guys, it's freaking beautiful. Next up, we do have two different versions of uh, blue straps right here, guys. We have the big winged eagle right here, and it does have the light blue strap. You can get this with the Ultimate Warrior Hall of Fame Target Exclusive Elite figure. And I just love this so much. You know, this is pretty much what the base of the MDT Battle Royal Championship looks like, except I came in and custom painted up the, the plates and stuff like that. But, um, yeah, I, I love this championship. I think I like the MDT Battle Royal Championship more, but this one's still great. You know, the light, the mint blue or whatever you want to call it is just so iconic. It looks so great on different figures. So, uh, definitely love that championship. And then lastly, we have the Big Eagle Championship right here, guys. And this is so beautiful. I love that. Like, the black strap version is great. But this one right here is so nice. I love the blue strap. I think the Mattel did a great job on it. It may be a bit, like, saturated for the blue, but I still think it looks great. And, like, I think that if you don't have any custom belts for your fed, I think this is a great main championship for SmackDown or something. I just think this would be great. Or if you have a different brand that's blue, you definitely need to use this as your main title. I just think it's so freaking nice. I want to see somebody switch out the plates. Maybe give it, like, a, uh, I don't know, a different plate or something like that. Maybe a blue strap would look cool with some different plates in there. But this belt's perfect. It came with the Attitude Era Stone Cold Steve Austin figure. And that pretty much does it for my favorite Mattel WWE figure championships. But yes, ladies and gentlemen, that pretty much does it for my personal favorite WWE figure belts in my collection. Again, all of these are fantastic. There are some other figure belts that I could have put in here, but these absolutely take the cake, guys. I love all of these. I think it's all about like the bright colors. I just think that the contrast with the colors and the gold and the straps and everything really pop off on all of these pretty nicely. There are, again, like I said, a few more I could have thrown in here, but I wanted to narrow it down the best I could. Of course, we do have some customs in here, but uh, I'm sorry, guys. You can't not put these custom belts in there. They look incredible, and uh, that pretty much does it for today's video, guys. Thank you so very much for watching this video. Comment down below your favorite WWE figure belts that you like, or maybe you don't have them. Maybe I have them and you don't. Maybe you want to comment your favorite f uh, figure belt from this video. But thank you guys for watching. I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you.